Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and this one's awesome. It's about 18 to 24 months in the making. It's with Carrie Bexley from Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. Yes, the Snow's Barbecue. I wanted to do this because a lot of people know Miss Tootsie, especially because of the Netflix special. A lot of people know Clay Calgill, but they might not know Carrie, who is the owner, and they might not know his background and what he does for his eight to five job, what his other jobs are. But before I get into the intro, Carrie wanted to make it specifically clear that they're only open on Saturdays. After the Netflix special, I guess there wasn't really reference to the fact that they were open only on Saturdays. And when you call Snows, whatever the number you call, it goes right to Carrie. And so he gets calls from all over the world, any time of the day, and he answers them. So just want to let you guys know that they're only open on Saturdays, if you didn't know that. But they do ship nationwide, so you can go online and have their barbecue ship. And as we get into the holiday season, because this is September 2021, they do get busy. But the shipping is a big component of what they do. So we get into a lot of things that I didn't even know about in this interview. One thing for sure is that in June, Kerry had a stroke. He's doing great now. I would never have known that he had a stroke, but I didn't know that. So if you didn't know that, that's something that he does to talk about in depth. And I also didn't know that in 2008, they were considering selling, that he actually put it up on Craigslist to sell the business, Snow's Barbecue, which is crazy and mind-boggling. But we go into detail as to what time you should arrive at Snow's Barbecue, because I get a lot of people writing me and asking what time they should arrive, and I usually tell them, anywhere between 3 and 5 a.m., and he'll explain that, but you have to get there early now. In the past, you can probably get there around 7 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Now you have to get there a lot earlier. So he explains that in detail and the line and, and what they do, and they have giveaways and, and the line culture, which is different at Snows and other places, which is it's a wonderful thing. And he talks about the barbecue family and the people in the barbecue family and what they mean to him as well as Tootsie and the rest of the family and workers at Snows Barbecue. He talks about different things that he's done during the pandemic to upgrade the facilities at Snows, make things bigger, expand his shipping. Kerry, as one of my friends said, is a good egg, and, and he clearly is. And you're going to really enjoy this, and I hope you get a chance to get to know Kerry even more so that when you do visit Snows, which is open only on Saturdays, you can say hi, and he'll be more of an acquaintance than just someone that you've seen in the distance. I can't thank Kerry enough for taking the time during his extremely busy schedule. If you're enjoying these, please subscribe. That way you don't miss out. I have a website at kevinsbbqjoints.com with all the links to podcasts and YouTube stuff, as well as tons of other things. But at the end, stay safe and be sure to visit your local barbecue joint. Well, you can see we tried to do this interview for about 18 months, I think. And, I think uh, so. I mean, I, I've, I've made false promises and just could never keep it. And then That's okay. No, it's finally, finally, I just said, we've got, we've got to get together. <laughs> and I've been out, I've been out of work since June. I had a stroke June the 1st and I hadn't been back to work. And, uh, uh, I think that day's nearing and, uh, there's some of these things I wanted to get done before I go back to my real eight to five job. I didn't know you had a stroke. Is that something you talk about at all or no? Do you not mention that? Uh, I mean, it was no secret. I was actually at work on my, running into the dozer and uh it come about and anyway i it cut it short i went to the they i finally called for help and uh they took me to austin and ambulance and uh they did some testing and that was the second stroke i'd had i thought it might be a mini or a tia what they call it the yeah. wife's head and they know it was an acute stroke and this was the second one i'd had and but i've got no no setbacks. Everything. I'm about a hundred percent as I've ever been, which I've never been a hundred percent. What is what What does the stroke feel like, Kerry? It's... Well, I was sitting on the dozer and uh, dipped tobacco, and anyway, I was kind of slobbering, and then I was kind of on. I, I just built a walkway, and I was kind of on a break, just sitting there doing nothing, idling. I knew things wasn't right, but it just didn't register. And anyway, went to do something with my right hand and couldn't move it at all, and. Oh. Like I said, it just didn't register. And when I finally, finally uh, decided I need to call for help, my supervisor answered the telephone. I couldn't talk at all. Luckily, you were able to even do that. What If you hadn't done that, could that have been a lot more severe? Well, then this was the second one. I'm thinking from the time I called for help, the next 20 minutes increased dramatically. You know, I think I was just blessed that it did that. Had it yeah, went the other God. way, yes, it would have been different. But the next 20 minutes, I mean, supervisors reacted quickly and uh, co-workers got me off of there. And I mean, I was stable and 
within by the time the ambulance got there, which was really quick, by the time we got in and the ambulance got there, I was uh, I was practically, I mean, I could almost communicate with them. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's uh, Do they have you on special medication now, or do you have to take a, do you have to uh, take something special for that? Or is that, I don't even know. I, it's, I'm just on a blood thinner and a cholesterol medicine. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. But everything, there wasn't no, there wasn't no big red flags at all when I had it. I mean, wow. everything was, uh, I mean, cholesterol was good. Blood pressure is good. Uh, I'm not way overweight. Uh, I mean, my lifestyle was, few made a few changes there. My diet's poor. Uh, a lot I, of, smoke, I, I smoked probably a half a pack a week. I'd smoke on Saturdays with clay and, and I mean, I didn't smoke much, but that was definitely a no, no. And that's, I cut that out immediately. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's, that's amazing. And I, I'm sure a lot of people watching this and listening to this have similar lifestyles, like diet wise. And I'm, there's a lot of smokers. I don't think there's as many smokers as there were, but that's, well, that's, well, thank God. Thank God it turned out. So that was June. Oh, so that wasn't, was, that wasn't too far. I, you know, what's, it, I don't know if a lot of people even knew that. No, a lot probably didn't. I yeah. mean, I guess what are you talking about? Immediately, I mean, I had, I left the hospital a couple of days later and uh, the wife said the speech was off, which I couldn't really notice. But like I said, my speech had never been very dang good. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's funny. Right? For the most part, everything, is, everything has been uh, back to normal. They've run lots of tests. The cardiologist has got a few concerns, but nothing major. There's a okay. hole in my heart. Like one in five people have that. Yeah, I've heard that too. And uh, he don't, he's not too sure he's not going to want to fix it, though. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's then I wanted to talk like I had I, I mentioned, I wanted to talk about what it's like right now because of the Netflix. But let's, let's go back a little bit. What is your the eight to five job that you mentioned? What, what is that? And that is that with Lum, Luminite or Luminate or something? Or Luminate is, that? is uh, it was a surface. Uh, it was originally Alcoa Aluminum. Okay. And, and then I transferred out into the mines in 2000. It was a surface lignite mine. We, uh, mined coal with lignite or coal and okay. conveyor belted it to Rockdale to the coal fired power plant. Oh, I've been by that one. Okay. There. Yeah. And uh, anyway, that we, we furnished them the lignite and anyway, that uh, all came to a halt, uh, I guess three, two and a half, three years ago Okay. and it's shutting it down and we're just doing reclaim and I stayed on and had to get out of the office and get on a dozer actually, but I enjoyed it. Uh, uh, work Monday through Thursday there, one week of days and one week of nights, and that was one of the things. Was night shift, I just never slept. I'm I'm on the go all the time, and I'd go two or three or four days, and may in, in that period of time sleep two or three or four hours. Yeah, I've done the same thing. It's not it's it's not great. After a while, you start to feel really you feel off, way yeah, off. Gets, I mean, it gets bad. I mean, Clay Clay had a little sickness last week, and I had to and to cook and stay up two or three nights and it kind of reminded me of it <laughs> i'm not looking forward to going back to that i really shouldn't i've got more than i can do as it is and, and that's the way it's been the last 15 years i can't never catch up i've got uh 14 or 15 rental properties and cattle and i do a little real estate and and then barbecue on a side and it's pretty well full time i mean <laughs> yeah, don't think we open the door on saturdays and you know, open the money bag, fill it up and then go home. And that's, that's so far from the truth. It's not funny. I know it's, it's, isn't that fun? That's, that is exactly, not exactly, but that's what a lot of people probably think. And I, I don't want, I want to get into that a little bit, but when you, when I, cause I, I reread a few days ago, the, the interview you did with Daniel, and I think you had said that you guys opened in 2003, but you knew, you knew Tootsie from city market, right? Is that how you, I knew her, I mean, they, their ranch, her little, a farm out in the country is close to one of ours and okay i've just known her for forever and then would run up there during school and high school and eat a sandwich i mean i didn't eat much of a barbecue saturdays uh my family was in the livestock uh business and we had our livestock sale on saturdays but i ate newer knew well and i had a farm and ranch store at this location in the 90s and i felt like it would really be a good location it's just down the street from the livestock auction uh, it's off the beat path, kind of. I felt like the location would be good, and, and what I had to offer from what she had cooked on from years with the cover and everything over here, I thought she'll uh, she'll feel like she's at, you know, Cadillac yeah. store. But did you ever think, like, did you think that this would even be, 
at the time, like, were you just hoping that it would be a nice Saturday spot for people to come to and a, a break from? Right. It was just, I mean, I have to renew, I have to renew do everything. I can, you know, I'm always thinking of something. I felt like it would be somewhat successful, but never dreamed of this at, at all. I mean, and then we talk about it a lot. Had her and I not got this recognition, we wouldn't even believe this is even out there. I mean, yeah. if you were to come tell us this is happening 30 miles down the road, we thought you're crazy. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that was somebody else, if this somebody was happening, else, yeah, I mean, you would be. We wouldn't have no idea. I mean, we're we're 18 miles to the closest town. We're 50 miles from any major town, and our clientele on a Saturday. I, I actually. Uh, went through the guest register three or four weeks ago, first time in, in years, and I just glanced at it and I counted 23 states and eight countries in that, that Saturday, and that's probably just a, one Saturday alone. That's probably that's not even probably yeah, that's... a norm. Wow. I mean, not being not being funny, but that's no, probably no. a norm. It's... Uh, there's there's very few locals that that you know we get, and and I had I had actually my kids are in sports and stuff. They're grown now, but they were in sports. And Saturdays and and I mean, me and the wife didn't see eye to eye with that at all. I mean, yeah. to run a business, you need to be here, but you don't need to miss kid stuff. And I juggled that and and uh, actually had run it on Craigslist for sale in 2008. And uh, I didn't know that. Of, couple at Marble Falls. A lot of people never knew that. A couple in Marble Falls. I met them at the Austin rodeo i'm on the rodeo committee up there and, and uh met and we visited for several hours out there and they said we're we're 90 sure we want it i said well come watch it work this saturday and see i mean you, you hadn't even watched it and uh, I, I i said i'd take twenty five thousand for the whole business and uh, huh. uh uh they called me on tuesday and said we've had a change of plans i don't think we're interested and i said hey that's fine and the following saturday texas monthly came by for their first time That's that, was, crazy. that was probably latter part of probably latter part of 2000 no it was early part of 2008 because it, the the issue came out in 2008 right or was it that was 2008 and actually the first ones to come by here for texas monthly was some husbands of some staff they were just seeing they were visiting some oh yeah some I think unknown. somebody had emailed about us in 2003 when it come out and they kept it on file they said go check them out and then they sent they sent a lot of their staff for weeks after weeks after weeks for that first one. And then we were kind of excited about it. We felt like we was going to be in the top somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing. I mean, anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. But um, and then actually come out, you know, they had named the number one, which to me today that is impossible to do. You know. Yeah. And it was funny for me to learn in 2008 there was really very few good great barbecue places in texas and today there's there's hundreds yeah now, you know? now it's now it's all it's inundated it's amazing I mean, and there's a lot of great ones but you know could you name a number one then me personally no you could name a top 10 pretty easily today i mean i think you could name the top 50 and 50 could be number yeah. one to a lot one could be 50 to a lot uh i i mean so, so had you gone to places because i think was the, the year the four years before it was kreitz market right wasn't that number one that or was it louis miller it was uh the year the, the time before was that? The, the time before the the issue before like four years before the issue before uh, they didn't ever name a number one they named a top five or a top three that's okay that's were, what it was oh yeah they was louis miller and kreitz and cooper's and uh uh, it's kind of the same little handful yeah. for years, and that's probably understandable now to think that there wasn't that many. Uh, you know, not that they were biased on who they were picking, but there wasn't that many good ones. And like I said today, I mean, I mean, we're thankful and blessed. But I, I, me and Daniel have been said you cannot name a number one. I mean, <laughs> you know, their opinion's no different than yours, or no. It's... Or the, boy scouts over there it's just a difference of opinion and i mean today you it's really hard to put 50 in there and, and not leave somebody out yeah well even in the what there was a 2018 issue is that the one the 17, last one they, 17, they, moved 17. It, they moved it to 17 we knew aaron was going to get it uh we just we were you know that was pretty obvious how everything transpired kind of the last two or three years of our recognition 
they had done fell on to him. And I mean, we were pretty sure of that. And then to come again, that was in 13. 13, 13, yeah. 13. And then for us to get it in 17 was mind boggling to me. Just, you know, they're looking to sell issues and it was just somebody new, I figured. But, uh, you know, and then there's been so many things that we've been blessed with that dominoed off of that. Uh, and the last one being the Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to, I want to get into that. But now when you first, when you first opened in 2003, what kind of business were you doing? And during that first year, how much, because you said you obviously in five years later, you were potentially selling it. Was, it, mean, ju- it, was, was it just like 50, 100 people or how was it? What was the. I, I mean, I'm not good with numbers or record keeping or anything. No, I know. This is a wonder like, is it was but, it very I steady? Mean, we, would, we would cook a couple hundred pounds, you know, yeah. and have some left over at the time. And that's in 2008 is when I implemented our shipping process. And I did that myself from. From really? the cooling of it to everything to the internet orders. And that was what's just mind boggling as to started that in 2008, where it's at today. Through the pandemic, I was able to build a, a, some new bathrooms, merch building, asphalt our seating yeah. area, and then build a, a 38 by 48 uh, shipping and uh, cooler rooms. Ah, oh, you did that. That's smart. Okay. I've got a little office where I'm at here now, and, and but I'm in a, a building that's uh, climate controlled storage, and then brand new freezers and coolers, walk-ins that we can we can house that. And our our, our shipping in has been been very good. We were shut down from March to November through the pandemic, and our sales were up. Yeah, well, which is crazy. Well, obviously you weren't open on Saturdays, but and that shipping, what days of the week are? Because I think I've talked to Clay before. Was it like Monday and Tuesdays? Is that when you're cooking for that cooking or? for shipping we'll usually cook like right now we're cooking tuesday wednesday and thursday okay we're already trying to just now start to ramp up for the holidays we're cooking we'll cook three we'll cook four days a week with our saturday cook from here on out maybe a fifth day sometime wow and then there's a big truck that comes on friday, <laughs> friday. Uh, we have we have a uh, we ship on mondays and tuesdays oh mondays and tuesdays but it's and i get it's and it's because i think i had it i think it was fedex i think that shipped it maybe, right or, we've got we were we we again been blessed to meet some good people i ship everything we're out in an area where we don't have dry ice so we ship everything with gel packs and through the dog days of summer sometimes it gets complicating with the packaging and the, and everything and we ship we, we're shipping everything fedex overnight yeah, yeah we're also partnered with go belly that that does a lot of shipping we do their orders on mondays and they ship fedex and ground and everything and yeah, the the pandemic helped them a lot too. That was oh sure it did. It it's been it's been crazy. But again, all of our, the, everything that comes through our site, we ship overnight. Yeah, yeah. And then and so, I, I'm eating a little bit of that, but people are getting it quality wise. It's great. And it came per, it came perfect to me. And I'm in California, in Los Angeles, and with the heat, it's hot all the time here too. So I mean, it, our probably our clientele, California would be our our, our number one state, maybe other than wow. Texas. Is probably including Texas would be California, and then it it very all. But I look at the list sometimes, and it's I mean it it, it goes everywhere. That's everywhere. crazy, and that's and they and that's pretty intuitive. I I think that Blacks was shipping around the same time you were, but I don't there was there wasn't a lot of people shipping outside. I think Kreitz was trying. They're doing some. They had started Blacks had it Blacks had it in place at the time. Yeah. Uh, not many did, and it's it's not. I mean, it's not for everybody. For us, it, back to the point of, of cooking on a Saturday and having something left, we didn't warm anything. We didn't ever serve warm product. I had to have a place to go with what was left. And that's kind of the same format we're in today. Some of our cooking methods, uh, people kind of ask about, well, a lot of it's different different reasons, but it's, uh, it's our co- quality and consistency that we have in our product is, uh, if you're going to get it in California, it's going to be good. But, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of where we stood with that. Yeah. And for, and for a lot of people too, I think ordering a pork steak, like all the different items, but the pork steak too, that's so unique. It's neat, you know, unique, new, it's unique to you guys, but it's also just unique in general. So the fact that you can have that shipped anywhere in the country is that's pretty phenomenal. I think. We, uh, through the holidays, we take off our packages and we actually have, have stayed kind of an a la carte with our products. And pork steak has been off the menu for a while. It yeah, it has been, been on, yeah. It was back on the menu a couple of weeks ago. And, and 
I like doing it the way we do it. That's the only way. I mean, you, a lot of people have tried to duplicate it. And it's really hard to duplicate yeah. how we do them. And uh, uh, I mean, I'm not going to cook them any different way to ship them. What we ship out of here is, is I want it to be the same quality you'd eat when you were sitting here. And, and anyway, we're probably through the holidays. We'll still have them off the off the menu, but uh, they'll be they, they were on for a few weeks ago and, and went great. But it's, well, people can have they keep checking in. They'll check in the website and they'll check, and then come January, February, they it'll be it'll it seems like it'll be 2022. <laughs> In the blink oh. of an eye, it's, oh, it's, it will be. I mean, I mean that's like now trying to keep up from now to the end of the year with the with the shipping is is just full oh. time. I mean, we try to start looking in September of, of you know years past. My my cooler capacity, my freezer capacity was limited, and I would send a lot of stuff to cold storage. And oh. last year I couldn't hardly ever get enough to even send out of here. Uh, because how much we're shipping every week you know from 2008 until a little prior to the pandemic i mean we we didn't ship a whole lot i mean it was beneficial but it was not Mm -hmm. like it is today i don't think anyone was shipping anything like people weren't ordering things the the way they do if i live in an apartment complex and the amount of things that people have shipped and and the amount of groceries that people have delivered to their home it's i've seen people with, with and it's hot here it's in the hundreds and i see people with groceries outside their door for like an hour or two and i'll knock uh, on the door and i'll say what are you doing? You guys are so silly it's you're it's stupid. crazy i mean we're you know i always said that my grandkids are going to see a different world we're seeing it today yeah, we're seeing it already it, it, it you know a lot of it is sad but anyway the as far as the us in the shipping business it's yeah, yeah. been very beneficial okay carrie how what was your menu like when you first opened was it this the exact about same? the same it was a, practically the same i mean miss tootsie had never really cooked much brisket okay i mean a lot of people you know think she cooks everything which you know for the most part she does has a hand in most of it but she had never cooked a lot of brisket but the pork steak and the chicken and the ribs you know we cooked the ribs over direct tea forever and i just changed that uh you know, I don't know how many years ago, went to an indirect to where we could yeah. kind of relieve part of the stress off of her uh, and myself. And then her son, when he worked for me, you know, I, I would yeah. oversee the brisket and the ribs at that time. And now Clay has been on board for, uh, I don't know how many years and does an outstanding job of the, oh, ribs yeah. and the brisket. He does, he does an amazing job. Cause that's when you bought, you brought on some offsets, right? You, you never, you well, didn't I, have those. I, I had an I had one offset when originally in 2003 when I built it. Okay. She she had a, a a similar box that she got her coals from, and I built what I thought was really a good one. And this past two weeks ago, we just finally changed it out to a new one. Oh. But uh, I I just I tied in a, a, a indirect to that to utilize that heat. Oh. And, you know, and that was probably hard for her. A lot of times she'd be behind trying to get coals for her food. And she'd have that fire blazing and, and that briskets on there. Which, I mean, we've had some look like hockey pucks before. They, they just got too much. And anyway, I in 2008 I built a an indirect that'll hold uh, it'll hold 600 plus pounds. Wow. And uh, that's what Clay does all the briskets on. And and then I built uh, I guess in 2011 I built another indirect. And that's what we do all our ribs on. A few overflow will go on her, her what I call box pits, direct heat. And we just recently did a new firebox uh, that, that she gets her coats from. And that was the first two things that I didn't build myself here in uh, Primitive. I told Clay, I said, you know, you're the one going to use this pit. You pick what you want to. And uh, he actually picked a Primitive pit. And uh, it, ah. it's in place now. And uh we haven't we haven't used it. I say we haven't. I used it last Wednesday, Thursday when I cooked, uh, burn it and, and used it a little bit. But again, he's the one that that's doing that. So did JD bring it out or did he? Just yeah, he it? came out and set it up. Actually, the first one he came out with, a uh, few complications with it. It wasn't just as appealing as I thought it could be. Anyway, he wound up taking it back, brought another one back. And JD's a, a awesome guy. Yeah, he's in Georgia, well. right? Yes, and uh, you know, like I said, I told Clay to pick what he wanted. Uh, but anyway, the primitive has been—that's well, great. It'll be fine, and we're not. 
it's not going to increase our volume. We're, you know, we're not increasing no more than we do on a Saturday. We pretty well max out every Saturday. And that's what's funny. You talk about how times have changed prior to the pandemic, prior to the Netflix. We were maxed out then, but our lines never were really long. They were just steady. Yeah. And now at, at seven o'clock, the last two weeks have been the least amount of people at seven o'clock we had. And uh, I think it was last week, week before last was like 160 at seven o'clock. And two weeks ago was like two. 20 at seven and that's the least we've had i mean it gets anywhere from three to four hundred at seven a.m isn't that isn't that mind-boggling crazy, to you crazy i mean i'll pull in at, there was a time period where i wasn't coming up here till two or three o'clock and uh i pull in at two or three o'clock they're liable to be 50 or 60 people in line that's crazy. It's, and that's and that and I I mentioned off camera that I, I've had people write me and say what time should I get there and I'd say like probably three or four in the morning and they're like we, I mean somebody, I, I told people forever six and and that was kind of well it was seven six yeah now I tell them five or before and at five o'clock now they'll be in excess of a hundred but if you get there if if someone's to get there by seven o'clock in the morning is there a chance they might not get food there is a chance yeah. So they should. I mean, the last few weeks, no. Uh, I felt like last week, due to Labor Day, the holiday, mm -hmm. there was going to be larger sure. orders, in which there was. We sold out a little earlier, and I probably discouraged some people in the backside of the line that left that may have got food. Uh, I try to keep them informed. I don't go through the line and get an order and say, okay, here's the end, no more. Uh, I just try to keep them informed and keep them aware that there is a chance, you know. And a lot of times I keep a I keep a running total of I let the line number theirself at usually around six thirty and I'll do a raffle before we open like yeah, I want to talk about one to one hundred and twenty five and from one twenty five to two fifty or whatever. And then if there's more, I'll do a third group of raffles. And that that helps me know their status back at one ninety, what their status is, their wait time. And then we keep a log on, on the board of, uh, we ran out of uh, turkey at 1040, number 104. And then I can read that to them and, you know, from weeks before and kind of make them aware yeah, of, sort of how things have been running. And, and a lot of times it's pretty consistent, but last week was, was a little earlier. Are people coming like the first 50 to 100 people, are they ordering just about everything, a little bit of everything? Is that... it, it, it varies from week okay. to week. I mean, last week, like I said, with the holiday, they made the comment there was a few early orders that were really big. And I actually had a few locals that they are regulars. I don't always say locals. I've got a lot of regulars that we've been blessed with that we're going to get them what they want. And, and there were some bigger orders last week due to, you know, the holidays. Yeah. So, so I guess for people just to know, chances are try to come around 5 a.m. And so that's- I say 5 a.m. or before. And, yeah. and I, the pre-orders that we're doing, we're really limiting them. It's just not fair to do a bunch of pre-orders and then have mm -hmm. people in line. You know, I have, if, if you call in the morning and you're a local or a regular, I'm not gonna take your order if my line is long. I mean, if you that's called true. today or yesterday, we're gonna take you. But if you wait till the last minute and call, we just don't do it. But uh, for the most part, you know, we've been able to, it's, it's really funny how it runs all the way to the end of the line. I mean, there's the weeks that we had 340, 350, yeah, 400 right. some weeks, we get all the way to the end. And then the last handful will get just sausage sometimes, but we we pretty well fed. I, I don't know that anybody has just walked away with nothing. Yeah. Well, and, and people tend to, and how you mentioned that you, there's 24 different states that you noticed last, for last saturday i've talked to people and they've said i think even a couple interviews ago the guy said well, i met a, met somebody from el salvador then there's some people from florida and there's this and they they told me to come sit by them and so there's a whole the line has its own life too it's amazing and and that is that is so true and that's what i preach to our staff that you know hospitality and, and customer service is free you know, you should never go somewhere and not receive that. Mm -hmm. It's just my opinion. Uh, with my work ethic stuff, you just shouldn't. But, you know, I can't make them like the barbecue, but we can make people have a good time while exactly. they're here. And the barbecue family, whether it be from our end of it, of the owners or the people that travel for barbecue are a good
good people. Yes. I mean, I've been in a lot of organizations and events and stuff, and uh, I've never met a better group of people than the barbecue. I agree with you completely. I've never, I've worked in many different industries and had a yearly trade show or things, and there's nice people, but there's something special, something very special. Oh, it, I mean, it's, I, I can't say enough of how, how special there's so many of them are, like I said, in both parts of it, from our end of it to the, the customer end of it. I mean, last week there was, I think there was two or three different tables that just emphasized how nice their experience was and how the staff was oh. and, and i explained to them that that's you know i can't make you like the barbecue there's lots of good barbecue yeah. out there but i can show you that your time is important to us and, and try to make you have a good time while you're here you know we if i see somebody standing in line that's 150 back there we've got chairs i tell them go get you a chair and sit oh down. that's uh we do the raffles the, you know the little giveaways just to get the line kind of active at, at about daylight and uh, yeah, because they've already of, been there for a little while <laughs> they've already right i mean there's some of them may have done been there several three or four hours at that time and, and if they're staying I mean, in austin they might have left and that was an hour and a half or what yeah or, and a lot of them now realize it's really not worth it to get a hotel room it's just come on out and camp out i mean we'll have tents or canopies or chairs or they'll get here early and tie a hammock across the porch and <laughs> I mean, it, we, we see a little bit of everything. It's, 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 it's very interesting. What, what is the nearest town with a motel or hotel? Is there? Uh, Giddings and Rockdale are Giddings? north and south of 18 miles. And then Elgin, yeah, right, yeah. Elgin is uh, uh, west at 30 miles. Yeah, so there's, that's, that's not too bad. And that would be, and if you stayed in any of those places, there's plenty of barbecue places that you can go at, to. And all of them, correct. And, yeah. Uh, and That's... there's a few bed and breakfasts in town. Uh, my daughter actually owns one, and there's there's several more. That, oh, I didn't know that. You know, there's some of them that I've recently, in the last few weeks, didn't even know we had. But yeah, what's the what, what's the name of her bed and breakfast so people can know? If, or Rogers Oaks. Rogers Oaks. Okay, I'll put a link to it, and that way people. I'm sure people would love to stay because then there's oh know, yeah, they supporting they your family. And we've uh, we've looked at trying to do something to where people can stay. I mean, we try to. You know, I tell people, you don't have to have everybody standing in line. As long as it's not 20 people come and join you, get your wife and your kid or your baby, put them in the car and let them get a nap. <laughs> yeah. Come out later. That, it's, it's, it's become such an amazing thing. And when Netflix came out to do this, what did they tell you? Be prepared. Because I know like when like people have said for Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, people like they've said, okay, your business is going to triple or for other shows on who knows what network. But this is to seem like this, and it was really well done too. Miss Tootsie, she's a special they person. Did a, in it. They, they did a good job. It was pretty hard. You know, the first day or two with them, they were about ready to pack up their bags. And we really? Made, we made a few changes. And actually, I, I had declined them to come for a little while. And I finally, uh, actually, Daniel had said, and some others said, you need to look at that. That'd be a big deal. And anyway, I busy with them and saw talked to her and she said yeah she'd be interesting but uh yeah first couple of days she was uh she was kind of hard to deal with it's 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 kind it's comical it's well because they, because they wanted to follow her doing too many things is that what it? things and and she's one she's gonna i mean even like here she's gonna lead the way mm -hmm. i was it was funny i was busy with a couple this week and and we were out there i was at the table visiting with them and, and they were talking about her and i said yo she's she's an interesting character you know <laughs> very hard worker i have i have thoroughly enjoyed our latter few years uh, of being able to visit but i said y'all go take a picture with her when you're when you're done and i said i'll i'll bet you three to one that she's going to tell you to move over or tell you where to stand <laughs> <laughs> and it happened it happened oh, that's so fact. funny oh, i walked out of the inside and they were they were there in front of the table trying to take a picture and she's saying y'all move over here and she gives me a high five she said you hit that on the head <laughs> <laughs> That's but it, so it, great. it's fun i mean it's it, again it's it, everything focused around her if she's in a great mood that day we all are if she's having a rough day it's pretty tough i mean i'm the middleman and it's pretty tough yeah no that's i'm sure because you're, you're and, it, and everyone has that ability you know that it's it's a it's a whole different thing that you're dealing with and you're dealing with all these emotions but the fact that they had like for that piece you could tell they followed her to to her home to her work like it's 
It's invasive. Oh, they, they did. It was nine days of filming, and part of the the horses and part of the cattle and stuff that was out at my ranch. And they, uh, oh, was they, it? Yeah, they did uh, where the windmill was and all, and, and uh, but they did a good job. She, she after she after that first or second day, she kind of loosened up and and she was good with them. I mean, she's had an interesting life and she's had oh, yeah. a working life. I mean. Uh, a lot of people could learn from from her lifestyle and where she's at today. Is she's earned it from nothing but just hard work. Yeah, just hard, hard work. And I mean that. And she's that, had some that, hardship in her life, some real uh, tragedy. And, and that's back to the barbecue family. You know, to lose a husband and a son in a couple month period. Yeah. With with her family and stuff. I mean, sure, she's got family and she's got some support, but the barbecue family just opened their arms and, and showed her. You know. Showed her lots of love, and she realized that's great to hear. There we were with taking care of her husband and then her son the last two few years, and through radiation and stuff, we, oh. we you know we took him for forever, and it was it was you know she realized that it's a it's a joint deal, and and the, the love for her is you know endless. Yeah, and it seems it seems I've ne- I don't think there's many people that are as loved or revered as as miss tootsie in that sense like it just seems it's yeah like i'll show a photo or someone i think someone took someone sent me a photo of she went to somebody's like kids graduation but it was probably in town probably somewhere and they said this photo and it was people were like it just it just it was like the queen it was like it was like our like a version of royalty even i guess oh, it's absolutely. within our family it's, just, yeah. it's funny now that, that I miss you're kind of a star yeah i kind of am <laughs> well that's good no she <laughs> oh it's it's it, i love it i mean and She's that was sweet, part of the original recognition prior to netflix i mean it was it was very rewarding to me to see her to get acknowledged for something she's done all her life yeah exactly and 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 it was a it was a hard transferring change of being able to accept the recognition i mean in her cooking process she had stuff to cook and that's what she wanted to do first yeah. uh-huh. and she's she's gotten much better with that and we kind of work hand in hand with that but yeah it was it was a learning curve but you know that's what she's always done and yeah. that's what she still does somebody's here at three o'clock in the morning they're not watching her over there curl her hair or nothing they're watching <laughs> her over there sweating and, and sweat running off her nose i mean that's just the way she is and 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 a lot of people have said this, but barbecue is hard work. It is, and it's this, uh, and it week after week after week. It's it's a lot. And that's what you know. We're again, we're blessed to do it one day a week, as far as being open to public. And and that's what Hershey, her son, used to say: one day is fun, after that it's work. And that's yeah. not a lot of truth. But I mean, the people that are in the industry, I mean, again, we're fortunate to do one day a week, and we're thankful for that. And that's all we want. People that do it every day, I mean. Yeah. I don't think people understand what they no. go through. I mean, with the workforce today, uh, the meat prices today, and mm-hmm. just in general managing a business is, is I mean, it's it's tough. I and can't the, imagine doing it seven days. I couldn't. Yeah, and with and with like the Yelp and different things and reviews and with, uh, with all mean, the it, social media the garbage, which like we're all part of, but it's just it, there's a lot. More. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's funny. There's a there's a guy down the street from us that's opened up a barbecue place, a little old trailer in his yard. I went today and got plates for my workers and all, and we ate it. I seen a post later that the health department had shut him down till he screened in or something. And I mean, oh, you know, it's come tough. on. Yeah. You know, I mean, my goodness, it's, uh, we're How all have the... together. I mean, Especially and nowadays. our locals will think that we called and did it. I mean, I, I'm down there today telling him when you order stuff, if we can help you and order something or, or whatever, we're in this together. Yeah. I mean, I want him to do, there's plenty of room for all of us. <laughs> it doesn't hurt yours. Yeah, it helps. It. Oh, yeah, it's ni- it's nice, town actually. have for a, several months, and I want them to do great. I mean, my goodness, the, there's plenty of room. Yeah. But, oh, I, I'm immediately asking you, why did you, did, have you talked about, why did you call it Snows? Was that a family name or? uh snowman is my nickname oh okay maybe i've heard that before and, and that come about um i was born in february mother was pregnant and an elderly gentleman asked my older brother which is four years older than i am he said you want a little brother or sister and he said i want a little snowman <laughs> and when i was born that's what that guy nicknamed me at the time i got to school that's what that's what i was called and that's what i've been forever and, 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 and you now were gonna... I, I, I 
I mean, I worked at the prison system in the eighties. They they had a different opinion, boss. How do you get that name, Snowman? They uh, they find it down a little candy or something, and then <laughs> and then the gray hair. But no, it was it's all legit. Oh, that's so that is that's so funny. I didn't realize. I think I maybe I'd read had read that you worked in the prison system. I think a lot of there's a number of people in the barbecue industry that have worked in the prison system. I think, and and a lot of veterans too. How are you physically feeling? Okay. Oh, feeling great. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, uh, I think everything's fine. Actually, one of my tests I did was a sleep study, and I was really anticipating finding some problems with that that would help me and. Uh, everything went pretty good. They said I had sleep apnea, but not bad enough for a machine. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I sleep good on days, but when I was on night shift, I mean, I'd go, I'd go three or four days with three or four hours total of sleep. And yeah, no, I've done that. Sleep. I mean, your mind, you know, I, I'm a, I, I've slowed down a bunch. I say I have. I, I don't do physical work as much. I stay on the go and stay busy, but I don't do near as physical like I used to. But uh, I mean, I'm trying to take care of myself, yeah. and I have been ignored. It. I had a friend that had a stroke uh, several years back, and you know, his wife told me, "said Y'all are two peas in a pod. You better pay attention." And I did. I really did. I listened to her, and I I slowed down. But uh, I don't know what brought this one on. But uh, let's again, hope it's the last one. That's that's it was so. fortunate. And like I said, we're going to continue to find out, and, and it definitely gets your attention when you. Call him yeah. on the oh. phone and you can't even say your name. I mean, you oh. don't sit there in that dozer and talk to yourself. And when he answered and I said something, my eyes got big around. Were you starting? To, were you starting to think like I am? I'm going. I'm. Were you thinking that this could be it? Uh, I don't know that I was thinking that, but I knew I was in a like something a deep state listening. of a stroke at that time, without a doubt. I yeah. mean, it, it registered pretty quickly that no. this is, and, and and from that point on, the next twenty minutes were just. I mean, I got better every minute. Wow. So it, so it was, yeah. So it was, it, you were on that, like on that downward, you were at the top I right was, there. I was and, at yeah. the peak and then I probably was sitting there having it 30 or 40 minutes. And just, <laughs> just didn't register. I mean, I knew I was, but I did, I, I, I wasn't sharp in my mind enough to call for help earlier. And when I finally did it, he answered and I couldn't talk. It, yeah, it was, it was I knew we need to go. Well, I wanted to to wrap it up with people who who all who, how many family members work at Snows like so when people visit how many people are they seeing and then you guys use an electric knife right? We do, and part of that is, I mean, me and Daniel have fought over that. Uh, there's a <laughs> whole process that we could improve and use, and that the lady that cuts on the inside for me is the elderly lady that has been with me from day one. Okay. Uh, could I put somebody else in there that may be faster or more efficient? Probably so, but that's the position that she's had, and, and that's the way it's going to be. That's great. Uh, and our, our resting period on our our briskets on a normal day is not as long as probably to be 100%. And, uh, I mean, we were at an event somewhere, and, and somebody made the comment how tender it was. I said, I can cut this with my finger. <laughs> I said, oh, bull corn. And I literally, I mean, it was jagged, but I literally did with my finger across that brisket. Uh, we do use an electric knife. Yeah. And it just, it's just what works for us. It's not no. I don't think it's bad. Like maybe Daniel does, but I think it's, it's just unique to you guys. It's something that I well, think a lot of people Like I said, her going through 80, 85 briskets yeah, with her... a day. My daughter outside that does the pre-orders and the to-go orders that we take, she uses a knife and, yeah. and when I was on the inside, I used a knife, but that's, 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 that's her style. Kind of, that's, that's just part of our staff. And you said back to family members, uh, I have five kids. I had two from a previous marriage, two from, uh, that I married into. And then we had a boy and, uh, two of my, my two stepdaughters have worked with me from day one. Okay. They have been mine from, from the get go. Yeah. And, uh, they have, and the boy is actually here now and, and works. Okay. Got a sister-in-law that works. As far as the kin, I guess that is. That's a kin. That's how many people work inside? Is it there's other inside, three? Inside's usually three with yeah. a runner, and then there's two in the merch building, and then there's usually the runner and two outside, and then three of us have yeah. kids. How does it feel at the end of a Saturday? Uh, Tiring or re rewarding or? It is. It's uh. 
it has gotten better for me before I, I physically did so much on a Saturday from Thursday to Saturday. Uh, it has, uh, I've got a wonderful group. I mean, a yeah. top notch group. Uh, and it's, it's less demanding on me, but it's, I mean, yeah, you're definitely wore out at the, you know, yeah. if you, Clay may get here at seven or eight o'clock tonight and he'll be here till one or two tomorrow afternoon, you know, but he's, He's on. He's on low. Them last four or five hours, but I'll I'll, I'll be here probably at eleven or twelve o'clock tonight, and 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 you know work through tomorrow. Yeah, but so it's, it's, a, it's it's a reward. I mean, when people have positive, you know, feedback, yeah. it's 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 very rewarding. And again, the barbecue itself, I'll, I'm I'm going to tell you, there's lots of good out there. Is yeah, this yeah. number one? No, it may be one of a bunch of number ones, but. Uh, I just I think it's amazing with the Netflix how how much power there was and I guess it was it was an intro, it, it came out at the same time when Rodney Scott's came out I think there was a number there was a like four episodes or something so it was there was a lot of promotion for it like a lot of people anticipation for it and, and it was huge and it is it is I mean it goes every country I mean it that's it, that it is touches true. a lot uh, of people yeah. I mean you know, we don't even ship T-shirts outside the country and to think of how many we could have done of that, how much interest we've had in that. But it's, yes, it's huge. And yeah. they had told us it's going to be big. But again, Texas Monthly told me it's going to be big. Yeah. And I, I come down here on a Monday morning and added four foot to my brisket pit, which, you know, gave me another 50% capacity. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we, we pretty well load up. We'll, we'll, We'll cook a pretty good batch every week, and when it's gone, that's it. Wow. Well, well, thank you for doing what you're doing, and I'm glad we finally got a chance to talk. And I, I had no idea; I probably was bugging you right after your stroke. No, not at all. I mean, again, it, I oh, handle so everything, and it, it's not that I feel like I have to. It's just in order to know it's done right. That's the way yeah, I'm I know. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but I, like I said, I've got a a great group, and I've been wanting to do this just to. to you know, to answer all the questions yeah. and get it out there. I mean, uh, I hope well, people uh, continue to order online and I, our feedback online at so many of them are repeat customers. Yeah. I've ordered that, twice. That, that tells you something. I mean, there's, there, there's some, there's a lot more out there today than there were. And, uh, I mean, if these meat prices don't change, if, if somebody don't get a hand on that, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I know that's, and that's going to be, and people need to expect, the prices will go up across the board for everyone. I mean, we have, we've just, we've just absorbed a bunch of it. I mean, if we would have went along with going up if what ours went up, we would, we'd be, we'd then priced ourselves probably out of business, but it's, it's crazy. We just have to absorb some of it. Well, would, would you have to be about $35 a pound? Is that kind of what people, I, I think I was reading someone where said it went to the, if we would have stayed on schedule with where we were at, yeah, yeah. you know, 2013 or 14 it, yes it'd probably be over 30 dollars a pound that's amazing i but mean this, i am, yeah. i'm paying i'm paying way more for brisket today than i paid for that i sold brisket for in 2003 crazy see that's crazy and i and i and i was i saw something i don't know if you saw when uh, ray miller he wrote something on like a some group or something maybe it was north texas something but he explained broke down kind of what you're and that didn't include labor it doesn't include but it was because people were complaining about price. I think it was for Hutchins or something and they were compl complaining about pricing. Well, it's, it's expensive. It's just, there's just, it's, I mean, it is, it is very expensive for a family to come here. I mean, I went and had lunch at the gentleman today is it's expensive, but it to know what goes into it and what we pay, yeah, you have to... it, it's, it's crazy. And again, we're, again, that we're blessed to, we're dealing with people that are coming to see us. These people that are in, that are trying to, to serve, uh, travelers and the workforce in their area. That's, that's hard. Really, that's yeah. tough. And that's real tough today. And uh, again, we recognize that, but it's, that, that's hard. Yeah. People that are coming to you, it's kind of like a, almost like how people, if they go into Disney world and they saved up and then they, they don't care how much that $18 breakfast it's there's or in Hawaii or something silly, but, right. but, but, but it's, it's different from, yeah, because it's, 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 it's a once in a lifetime for a lot and of that's why, and Wayne was actually the one for years. He said, why are you charging this for brisket? He said, you're ranked number one. Why are you <laughs> charging this? 
And I said, it just works for us. And I mean, I finally, yeah. I finally got up and got priced myself into the, into the mix with all the rest of them, but it, it was what worked for us. And, yeah. uh, again, this was not our livelihood. And, yeah. and I mean, if it was up to me, I, I would, I think we ought to quit buying brisket for about three months and get the Packers attention. And, yeah, exactly. That would, yeah, as a group. Yeah. You know, as a group, but I'm, I'm fortunate enough to not, this isn't my livelihood. So I'll go along with somebody else, but I'm not going to implement it. Yeah. Yeah. You're but, not going to uh, be the first. To I mean, it, it's crazy that the Packers are the Packer houses are making, we go to market with our cattle. We're not receiving that dollar and, and what it costing us on, you know, in the box today for, for brisket is unreal. That is amazing. That's interesting. That, that that's real. So what's so uh, what, what's happening? Is it just they're just the Packers gouging? Are, the Packers are gouging us to no end. I mean, they use every everybody has used this COVID to their benefit, mm-hmm. and, and part of it is realistic. Part of it is BS. Yeah. I mean, you know, there, there's there's the storms and the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, are the they pre- are they pretending to that they're making up for lost revenue or something? Or is that what they're I wonder what they're, what they're staffing angling. issues. They yeah. say staffing issues, trucking issues, and stuff. I mean, again, it's uh, Packers are killing on schedule now, and uh, yeah, it should have evened out. You know, when they when they're making a thousand and twenty three dollars a head, you know, killing several thousand a day, something's something's so, the matter with that picture. Yeah, that doesn't you add know, up. You know, <laughs> now we can raise them for six months and and make. Two hundred dollars, you know, profit off of. Now that something doesn't add up. Yeah, that's that's yeah. not right. Well, it's uh, and uh, I don't know. I wonder, is there anything that people can do? Then, if, if someone's well, listening I, to this right I now, is there, there someone is, we could write? You know, is there you said, don't do nothing. Nothing will happen. I think the the legislator had made some comments, and they're working in that direction to try to equal that out. Yeah, for a little bit. Anything they do, it's not going to happen maybe before my end of my time, but it, it's <laughs> my got time. to get better. They've got to regulate it to where it's, it, it, it's no reason for the consumer mm-hmm. to be paying what they are today for barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. And then maybe there's some, maybe there's someone, maybe someone needs the right. So, so I don't know. Well, that's for another, another discussion. So the best, so obviously you're open only on Saturday. If people didn't know by now, by the end and of the that was another thing that was really hard. My, my phone, my cell phone is out there and, and my business phone is out there, which it forwards to my cell phone. Yeah. A Netflix film did not do near the emphasis on Saturdays only. Everybody that's ever done a story of us has emphasized the Saturday only part. Oh, Netflix that's terrible. did not, and I let no. it slip by me. My phone rings three or four o'clock in the morning every day of the week. Uh. What time you close the day? And it's, I dropped the ball there, but it's yes, everything from here on out. I'm trying to emphasize we're Saturdays only. Yeah, well, I think I and I notice sometimes even like on certain internet things, people will say, "Have you ever been to Snows? What day of the week is it open?" And they're they're from Texas, and I'm like, "How do you not know this?" And you're into barbecue, but yeah, so it may be at the beginning. I don't get half as much like even a percentile of what Netflix get, but at least let everyone know it's Saturdays only. Snows is Saturdays. That's only. why. I'm- my wife and my uh, daughters and them need to run more of this. They could have, they could have headed that off, but uh, anyway, I didn't, I didn't recognize that either. I didn't realize I that. I had... didn't either. And it, mm. uh, like I said, I mean, the phone ring, you know, I, I should have an answer in service or an answer, but it, I'm going to talk to every one of them. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's part of it. I mean, well, that's the kind of guy you are, but that's difficult. That's uh, not, are you getting calls from other countries too? Oh, I mean, I can pull the phone up right now and read you where all they've called from today. And it's like, it's crazy. I mean, <laughs> just before our interview while ago, I had one, it was Minnesota and one from Washington and one from Indiana in a matter of about three minutes. That is amazing. And what, what merchandise do you guys sell online right now? I didn't check. The, the merchandise last week. online is t-shirts and the wife has taken over that. Okay. Done a great job. It's t-shirts and caps really. Is. Okay. Uh, in our merch building here at the store, we've got Yetis. We've got, a wider selection of caps and t-shirts and hoodies. And- okay. Perfect. Okay. So that's, and that's good. That's something that is good to distract people, but also too, it helps any, any business buying merch, buying gift cards, all that stuff. Do you guys have gift cards too? Cause it, we, for no, a little we bit, do. you we didn't. do not at the time. We changed merch services sometime back and yeah, you I stopped, just right? haven't redone it. They never worked online with our online shipping. Okay. And until I can make that happen uh, again, it's, it's devoting time 
to, to, yeah. to visit with Kevin is devoting time. I mean, I've got seasonings that are are sold in our merch building that I've had since December and they're not on our website. <laughs> so I, so I'm taking away. So I, I am lose. I'm right now losing. You're losing money. Because <laughs> you're you didn't deter me from doing anything. No, I distracted you, baby. But I, but it, and it's funny because I remember, yeah, I think when, even when Kelly saw you at the, at the thing, you had said, Hey, Kevin, I'll, gonna be, I'll, I'll talk to you. But uh, no, I, pre- I, I appreciate you taking the time and, and, I'm tenacious and I'm also, I'm still here. I'm helping my mom. So I, I'm, I, I'm kind of not, well, trapped, but I'm, I, and like I, I said, there's so many people like yourself that are, they, you know, they play a huge part in the benefit of all of our, our businesses. And I mean, it was, I felt pitiful for not devoting the time, but it's, uh, I mean, it's just a huge tight knit group. I mean, I went to, I've never been to California and I went out to heritage to there. Oh, that was year. so nice. I saw that. You I know, wish I could have come. Uh, I mean, it was, it was, it was just awesome to get out and go do that. And hopefully we're going to spend, I mean, I've got so many of people that have been so good to us. I want to go see and visit mm-hmm. them. I don't really care to eat their barbecue, but I want to go visit, yeah. them, you know, and we just, I don't, I don't get it out. It was nice even there. to see you guys go to Treaty Oak that time. I thought, okay, well, I was oh, seeing you outside, outside of snows. It was nice to see. I you. mean, that was uh, several of them's birthday. And we just rented a party bus and made it happen. And, and we need to do more of that. Yeah. Of people and, there's so many of them that are, that are, have been very influential to me that, that, I mean, I stopped last week actually in Southside and fast drop at uh, Brian's and aid. I mean, Brian's, uh, been, Brian's been, such Brian, a nice, uh, such a uh, great guy. There, I mean, him, Wayne, you know, Russell, John Brotherton, there's been so many of them that are just mm-hmm. true blue to me that, that, uh, you know. Well, and, and like, like uh, doc, Dr. Sable and Ray and uh, those uh, guys, like those just, that's group is the just, A&M, there's a, there's there's countless amazing people but there's so many great right yeah so many we just need to take time to get i told tootsie that we're going to start doing that two years ago and we haven't went nowhere <laughs> well i saw i saw that you went to and you went to the um to was, was that camp brisket or you went to camp brisket we got like i said we saturday <laughs> afternoon i asked her i said if you feel like it i'll drive and she said i oh, will go so we soon as we got done we loaded up headed over there and you know, she walks in and everything just stops. I could imagine, yeah. No, I saw uh, so many photos and it was so uh, beautiful. It, it's, it's amazing. And, it, and again, so neat. Again, her to be kind of rewarded for something she's done all her life. Yeah, yeah. she should. Definitely. Well, I, well, I hope you have a good evening, a good, good weekend, a, a solid weekend. And, and this, I'll pray that you don't that nothing else happens to you. And I, and I can't wait to, to see you in person, but I, this is nice now because now I've done two interviews with Miss Stutzy, one with Clay and now you. So now I have like a, a snow's package. You've got, you got a package <laughs> deal now. And again, it's, it's very good. And I just, thanks to Clay for putting two suits together. I mean, like I said, it was pretty interesting per the recognition at first. I mean, and then we go yeah. to talk about social media and she still got the old flip phone. And no, yeah. And, and she, but she, and, but she, she was great. It was, she was so warm. She's such a warm person. Like when I spoke to her, when I met Sometimes. her, I was, that, oh, no, I mean, I mean, on, <laughs> on camera, I'm talking about on camera, Carrie. <laughs> oh, she, 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 uh, she's, she's awesome. Like, but I, I like said. that. I like that you say that she's like a real person. She's not just, she's no, not she's just, not, this, she's not making a, a, a front out there. She's the real deal. And if she's cooking something, that's going to come first. It, it, if she wants you to stand it, somewhere for a picture, she'll tell you this, where to stay at. Yeah, I mean, that's why, but between the two of us over there, and she's like, come take, I said, no, you go take the picture, I'm going to go watch this, I said, they want it with you, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's that's interesting, great. but it's taken every one of us to get to this point, exactly, yeah, I wouldn't be where I'm at without her, and she wouldn't be where she's at without me, yeah. and it's been a, and, and Clay is, what a ride, oh, uh, it's it, like I said, we, we just can't be thankful enough as the good people we have. I'm glad you didn't sell it. Jeez, imagine that. No, like, I imagine mean, like I that. Said, everything happens for a reason. I tell yeah. her that. I mean, we wouldn't have been there for her during them troubled times she had in the True. barbecue yes. family. Wouldn't yes. have been there. Everything happens for a reason. You do the right thing, and, and good Definitely. things happen to good people. Definitely. Well, well, thank you so much. Yeah, so good to see you. Great to great well, to chat. Again, thank you for you, and, and bless you, and we appreciate everything you. you do. All right, say hi to the crew, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Good day. All right, you too.